Hi, I'm Ricky. Thanks for watching. Um, I'm standing here today with Tom from Tandis, a company that takes waste streams and turns them into flooring. Um, Tom, can you tell me a little about your company and what you do? Well, thanks, Ricky. Uh, yes, we take waste streams and make those into floor coverings. We started with uh, carpet tile and taking vinyl back carpet from the industry and making it into usable floor covering again and then using it over and over. But since then, we've found many other waste streams that we can literally take out of uh, the diversion from landfills and make those into floor covering as well. Tom, can you tell me about some of the some examples of waste streams that you um, that you grind up and turn into carpet or flooring? Yeah, we'd be glad to. We started off, and we were the first manufacturer to take carpet out of the marketplace and make it into modular carpet tile. That product is called ER3, and that was done in 1967 before anybody else was doing it. We then got into a venture in 2004 with Kaiser Permanente to look for a non-PVC alternative, and that found our way into the glass recycling industry, where safety glass uses a film between the glass. That film was a byproduct of recycling glass that they had no use for. So all the safety glass that's used out there to made back into glass, we now take that film and make a product called Ethos. And Ethos backing is what we're launching here at Neocon, at um, Greenbuild. Um, we launched in Neocon the Powerbond Ethos, but at Greenbuild we're launching, launching it in a modular tile. Well, when we found that there were alternatives to carpet, like this film and safety glass, we said there might be other options. So today we're actually taking pool liner, and we're using pool liner to make flooring products. We're using uh, the material from auto stamping plants, the waste from those to make flooring material, Pack packaging equipment uh, that is no longer usable. We're now taking that back and making that into flooring material. So we found a minimum of five raw materials that were going to a landfill after the uh, product's useful life was over or during the process, and we're making those into flooring material. What makes that significant is when we make those waste streams into a viable, usable product, it becomes part of the inventory and buildings we can then track it and bring it back to our facility and make a cradle-to-cradle -cradle recycling opportunity. Awesome. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, thank you, Tom, for You're your time. Thanks thank for you. coming by and spreading the good news. All right, that was a good interview. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, this is Ricky. Thanks for watching us at builder.com. View more of our videos on our website. Thank you.